Hey, John of All Games here with a new Minecraft tutorial for you, and it's something that I'm pretty excited about. It's the Volts Mod Pack, a part of the Technic Launcher. In case you didn't already know, or if you don't have it, the way to get it is to go to technicpack.net. This is the main page. You can download the Technic Launcher right there if you want to. Just click on that, and it'll start downloading. And it's pretty simple to get it running. Double-click the launcher, hit run. It's going to download some stuff. You'll type in your username and password as soon as this shows, and then you're just going to select, you either got Technic, which is single player, Techit Lite, Techit Classic, here's Volts. Type in that stuff, hit log in, and that will launch it. But that's just single player, and most of us want to play with other people, so how do you run a Volt server of your very own? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. Go back to technicpack.net, click on mod packs, go to Volts. Now right there, download the Volts server. You're going to want to download that. It's pretty easy. They give you everything you need right in there. And it was just updated recently. They're constantly working on it because Volts has the universal electricity mod. And it's it sets out to correct what the other mods, you know, one would have its own version of electricity and the other one would have its own. You'd have to like mix and match and remember which one's which. Well, this one sets out to cover all of that and make it a little simpler. So you open up your Volts server. Um, rare archive or whatever it happens to be or just right click on it and extract two volts you know right here right there on your desktop okay volt server version 1.0.11 open that up double click you the launch batch file give it a few minutes it's gonna actually download some stuff let it run run a little bit more not found blah 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 now it's gonna create the world here in a second preparing spawn area just another minute. After this is done, you're going to want to type stop right in here. And then when you relaunch your server, you'll be all right. Yeah, right now, type stop. Let it close down. Take a second. Press any key to continue. Now you can launch it again. And it's downloaded everything, and it's all set. What you might want to do wherever you put this folder is just make a shortcut of that batch file. And you can name it, like, you know, volts server start. And if you're going to host this on your own computer like this, you could even put that shortcut in your startup folder. Just type startup here. Uh-oh, that's not the way to find it. Let's see. Programs. Go down here to startup. Open that up. And if you drag it into there, every time you start your computer, your server will automatically start up if you have a lot of friends connecting to play it and such and such. So there we go. It's up and running. Uh, to connect to your own server, you can go in there to Minecraft. Here, let me run this again. Uh-oh, the launcher's currently open. I knew that. Where is it? There it is. Let me type in mine, if I can remember everything. Downloading, right? It's going to do this when you first launch it. Uh, to connect to your own, you can click on Direct Connect and type in localhost, or you can add a server so you don't have to type that in every time. And then in the IP, just type 127.0.0.1, and you'll be able to connect to your own server. Uh, well, thanks for watching as we let this complete. I uh, appreciate it, and hitting the like button if this helped you out, if you didn't know how to set up a server. Like I said, it's a lot simpler than what my previous tutorials were with custom batch files and stuff. I, you know, It's just gotten a lot simpler, the Java code. And um, I do have some other tutorials if you want to know how to get your friends to connect. Uh, I'll have a link for that below, and I'll put an annotation right here where you can click on that. That will take you to that. And check out all my other Minecraft tutorials. There's a playlist with them all in there. And at the end of this video, there will be a link for where I recommend you to buy a or rent a Minecraft server if you so choose to so that you don't have it running on your computer 24-7. And, you know, because if your friends are playing with you and they want to connect to your server, you, your computer has to be on all the time. And if that's not something you want or you just don't want them connected to your computer or maybe your computer's too slow and you can't actually host a server and play Minecraft, which is the case for a lot of people, then I suggest go over to there, click on that link here at the end of the video, and it's pretty cheap. It's like $5 a month for four people, and you can get voice servers there too, TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, and Mumble. Pretty awesome, and it helps me out when you do it. So appreciate that if you choose to do that. So you can just go in here, direct connect, local host. And here we are in our new world with volts. All right. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Very cool, very cool. All right. And the other way to connect.
connect, just be go here, hit add server, type in whatever you want, like John's votes, and then 127.0.0.1, hit done, and then that'll always be there, and you'll be able to connect to it. This is for you. Now, when your friends connect, you'll see in those other videos different ways of doing that, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into that now, but you'll be able to figure all that out on your own, hopefully, with the aid of these tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'm John, and I'll see you next time.